Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how to transfer a small SSD to a large SSD. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so a little bit of a backstory here. A long time ago, I bought this little device, the Oracle Disk Cloning Station, which is absolutely brilliant. I'd be completely lost without it. Now, the PC you can see behind me, that one there, it's currently got in it a 120 gig Kingston SSD, and we're gonna be replacing that with a Crucial BX500. Now this is a 240 gigabyte drive, so double the size, and hopefully what I'm gonna do is get rid of the annoying noise which is coming from the mechanical drive, which is in this in-wind bay. Now the bays themselves are actually really good and they do isolate quite a lot of sound, but there's still quite a distinct hum coming from the drives, which I'll let you listen to. Now that quite of hum is quite common with mechanical drives due to the way they work. There is a rotating platter in there, there's heads, etc. mechanical stuff. It's gonna make some noise. But because it's in the background of pretty much every single shot we do on this channel, it's starting to get a little bit annoying and I can definitely hear it in the background. So I'm gonna take out the mechanical drive, which is a two terabyte drive. I'm gonna take out the 120 gig drive, which is an SSD, and I'm gonna replace it with the single 240 gig. Now, I don't often play very many games on that machine, and if I do, it's only brief installs. So the 240 gig's gonna be fine for the Windows operating system installation to also capture some OBS footage and the odd game or two. We should be able to get at least three or four games on there before we start running out of too much space. Or alternatively, I am thinking about getting a NAS box in another of the room with an entire Steam library on it so everyone can connect to it over the network. But that's a, a future project, so keep subscribed to check out to see if that actually happens or not, or whether it's just one of my pipe dreams. Anyway, let's get on with what I intended to do. So I'm gonna take the drive out of there now, I'm gonna put it in a disk cloning station, I'm gonna time how long it takes. Roughly, there is about 80 gigabytes of data on that drive at the moment, which is in there. So we're gonna copy that across from the 120 to the 240 SSD, see roughly how long it takes, and then we're gonna take it all out, put it back in, and hopefully it's gonna be much, much quieter. So, let's get on with it. Now, fortunately for me, the Inwin case is super easy to work on, so all we actually need to do is to disconnect the power cables off the back of these drives, and the SATA cables, give them a little wiggle. Then all it needs is a little flick. And then out comes one, and out comes two. Right, so that's the drives out. So we've got two drives, we've got our 120 and we've got our 240. So now is the really simple bit. All we have to do is put the 120 as being our source drive. So in our Oracle docking station, we've got two sections, target and source. So we'll stick it in source. And that doesn't leave many options for the other one. He says putting it in around the wrong way. So that's both drives connected. Now on the back of the uh, cloning station, there's an option for clone or PC. So we'll switch that into the clone mode. Press the power button to make it turn on. So now it's recognized both drives, both the hard drive lights are on. So all I have to do now is press the start button on the back and just wait for the, uh, the drives to finish cloning and wait for the telltale bleep. So there we go. So it's now at the bottom of the hour. So we'll see how long this takes. Okay, so a quick cup of tea, or approximately 15 minutes later, all our data is transferred over, the telltale bleep gives it away. So we're ready to power down the device, which we'll do now. If I remember where it is. It was at least 15 minutes ago, so it's easy to forget those things, especially if you've got a goldfish brain like I have. So that drive now can go it back into the in-win case behind me. This drive now can be freed up to go into another gaming build I've got, along with the two terabyte drive going into Calf's machine and her one terabyte drive coming out to go in the gaming PC that I'm gonna sell. It's a good job I've got this cloning 
station otherwise this would take a lot longer and would be a real pain in the butt to keep on opening PCs, connecting up SATA cables, power cables, running Macrium or whatever it is and changing all the drives, oh, it's going to be a nightmare. Now at least all I need to do now is when I put the Crucial BX drive back into that machine I can go into Windows and also go into the uh, Windows Disk Management, yeah Windows Disk Management and just expand the partition because the way the, the cloning station works is it copies over everything so the uh, partition sizes all that kind of thing drive information so as far as this BX drive is concerned it is now a Kingston 120 gig drive so I need to put it in there then expand the partition which I will show you how to do once I've reinstalled this so let's put this back in the machine so what we've got to do is put the screws back into the uh, the SSD to hold it in the in-win mounting cage which is uh, pretty straightforward. So four screws, one, two, three, four, and that drive, I'll put it in around the right way? Yes, I have, so that way down. So all we do is put it back in, slot it in, close the tab, job done. So now we've got slightly less of a rat's nest to deal with, so all we've got to do is connect up our power again and the SATA drive connections. Maybe at some point I'll disconnect those, but they're actually quite handy to have there ready, just in case I find another drive lying around which I want to stick in. But hopefully, fingers crossed, this should be it for now, or at least for a little while. So we can tuck all those cables back in there, put the back back on, and uh, the job's a good one, as they say. Okay, so now for the real test, is it going to be quiet enough? So, let's fire up. Better still, let's turn the power switch on, then power up. That right there, my friends, is the sound of silence. Now, the only noise coming out of that thing now is the sound of air moving around. We are entirely solid state. What a great feeling. Right, let's head over to the desktop and configure this drive so we can use the full capacity of the disk. Okay, so the machine has booted back up and this is gonna look a bit weird because I'm kind of recording on here, recording OBS and there's a webcam as well and well, you'll get the general idea. Just, just watch. Anyway, so there's our local disk C, which now says it's got 83 gigabytes, which is what we just transferred across, out of uh, 111. So obviously the drive hasn't been recognized as the full capacity yet, so we need to make it so that it is the full capacity. So what we'll do is right click on the Windows Start bar, or the Start flag, or whatever they call that these days, the logo, and then go into Disk Management. And here we can see that we've got 111.78 gigabytes of unallocated space, which is attached to the primary disk zero. So all we need to do is right click on the C drive and click on extend the volume. And then you go through the extend volume wizard. But basically, yeah, we want to use the full size of the drive. And that is pretty much it. Click on finish. Boom, there we go. So of the 240 gigs, which formats down to 223.57 gigabytes. We have now got 223.03 gigabytes of that available for storage. So if we minimize that now, and if we just go up a level, then go back into this PC, boom, there we go, 194 gigabytes free of our 223 gigabyte drive. Awesome. So. That was a success. I think that was a success. The filming isn't a success, but this generally is a success. So now we can take the other drives, put them in the other computer, transfer those drives into the other computer, and then sell those computers on to make some money to buy more computers. Awesome. That's what it's all about. So hopefully this video has been vaguely interesting to you. If it has, give me a like, and also click on the subscribe button and the chime button and all that kind of good stuff. If you've got any questions or comments about the drive, the computer, the Oracle docking station, let me know in the comments section below. 
I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.